now going to begin our service as we sing our first hymn, Faithful Shepherd Feed Me. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. So we say together, the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. Almighty God, God, our Heavenly Father, Father we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. 
Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We now join together in saying the Gloria. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and, and peace to his people, people on earth. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, Almighty God and Father, we, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So the Collect for today, the fourth Sunday of Easter. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We're now going to hear our first reading, which comes from the book of Acts and chapter 2. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts praising God and enjoying the favour of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Now going to hear our second reading, which comes from the first letter of Peter, chapter 2. when you are beaten for doing wrong, where is the credit in that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called. Because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that, free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Now going to sing the gradual hymn, The Lord's my shepherd I'll not want. My 
shepherd I'll not want. He makes me lie in pastures green. He leads me by stills of waters. His goodness restores my soul. I will trust in you alone. And I will trust in you alone. For your endless mercy follows me. Your goodness will lead me home. Guides me ways in righteousness, and he anoints my head with oil, and my cup it overflows with joy. I feast on his pure delights, and I will trust in you alone, and I will trust in you alone. For your endless mercy follows me, your goodness will lead me home. Though I walk the darkest path, I will not fear the evil one. For you are with me and your rod and staff, and the comfort in you alone, and I will trust in you alone, for your endless mercy follows me, your goodness will lead me home. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, Very truly I tell you, Anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens his gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all of his own, he goes ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. In the strong winds a few weeks ago, we had a fence panel and the garden gate blown over. 
And whilst waiting for the contractors to come and restore the fence panel and gate, it made us feel quite vulnerable. Somehow the security of the gate in place made a difference, even though most of the time if you tried the gate you'd find it unbolted. In the time of Jesus and even today in some places, the shepherd is the gate to the sheepfold, particularly at night. Not only to keep the sheep in the fold, but to protect them from being attacked by predators. So I thought, well, we'll make something slightly different today. Um, and so I brought some sheep with me. Well, one sheep to be precise, actually. And uh, I thought this might illustrate, this might make us think about what uh, Jesus was saying in his parable about being the gate, the gate to the sheepfold. The shepherd was a keeper of the sheep. They were his commodity, a valuable commodity. And it was in, in, his, in his interest to care for and protect the sheep. Now Jesus describes himself as the gate for the sheep. This is in response to his listeners not understanding what he was saying in the first part of this passage. Remember, Jesus actually said that. The sheep are, of course, those in the kingdom who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, as he claims in the next part of this chapter, in verse 11, the, one, the verse we didn't hear, he claims that he is the good shepherd, the one who leads his sheep, and they are protected and secure. They have the freedom to come and go and find pasture to be fed. In these days of lockdown, it's reassuring to know that the risen Jesus is not only our saviour, but feeds and cares for each one of us. So what does he then do for us? Well, he cares for us spiritually. He feeds our minds when we study and converse with him through prayer. He teaches us how to live the life we are meant to live as his children. He shows us the way as a shepherd would lead his sheep to pasture. OK, so how then does he protect us? Well, he protects us from the attacks of the devil by giving us his word and, word and shielding us with his love. He gives that feeling of security to know that he is here for us and will not leave us. That feeling of the shepherd who is the door. Knowing that the fence panel of the gate is in place takes away that insecurity. And that's what it means for the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He has overcome the power of the devil and is able to give us that protection. As rural church, we perhaps have a better understanding of these parables. And perhaps even sometimes we take them too much for granted because we know what Jesus is referring to. But we need to be reminded of God's love and protection under the shadow of his wings. Is that right? He agrees. So may God bless you and protect you in these dark times as our belief grows in him, our Lord and Saviour, our gate to the sheepfold. Amen. Now I invite you to affirm your faith in God, the Holy Trinity, as we say together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We're now going to pray our prayers of intercession. Jesus is the Good Shepherd and calls us to follow him. So let us pray together. Our response this morning when I say, Lord, as you have called us, will be, hear us and help us. Lord, you have called us into life and to love you, to proclaim that life and power in the places where we live and among those who are neighbours, friends and strangers. May they come to know your presence, especially in these difficult times, and unknown future, here and around the world. Lord, as you have called us, hear, hear us, us and, and help us. us. We pray for the church with all the various ministries that is called on here and far afield. Despite the lockdown, may we reach out to all and make connections in whatever way we can, especially to those who are alone and fearful and longing for the company of others. Sustain them, Lord, in the days to come, and may they find solace in knowing that you are always with us. Lord, as you have called us, hear, hear us, us and, and help, help us. us. We pray for all who govern and the difficult decisions that have to be made to protect the people as best they can from the threat of COVID-19 to bring reassurance and hope and a sense of community in working together for a future to come. Lord, as you have called us, hear, hear us, us and, and help, help us. us. We pray, Lord, for all who are ill at this time, in hospitals, care homes or at home. We ask your blessing on the doctors, nurses, the emergency services, carers in homes or in local communities. May all who work with those who are ill have patience, strength and courage each and every day. We remember the two, we remember too the families of all those who are carers for others. Lord, as you have called us, hear, hear us, us and, and help us. us. Lord, we pray for ourselves, our families and friends. So many of us may be facing circumstances that seem too difficult to bear. May they find courage and strength in the knowledge that you know our concerns and that you are with us always. In a short time of quiet, let us share with God our Father all that weighs us down, the sorrows and the joys. Lord, as you have called us, hear us and help us. 
Lord, we ask your blessing on our loved ones, whom we no longer see, but who will be in our hearts always. May we all share in the joy of your love and your kingdom. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers for the, the sake, sake of your Son, our, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Now come to the peace. <coughs> the risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. So let us share with those who are next to us and those whom we see on the screen, perhaps a wave or a shake of a hand, whatever it may be, as we share the peace together with one another. So now we come to our offertory hymn, How Sweet the Name of Jesus Sounds. Lord is the greatness, 
the power, the glory, the, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. And we give you. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father, and in these days of Easter to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell, and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise, and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and all the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit all honour and glory are yours almighty Father forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. We say together, 
Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Merciful Father, you gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the Good Shepherd, and in his love for us to lay down his life and rise again. Keep us always under his protection, and give us grace to follow in his steps. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Now the blessing and dismissal. May Christ, out of defeat, brings new hope and a new future, fill you with his new life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. So we sing our final hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Sun, moon, and stars.
Bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the souls of the faithful departed, by the mercy of God, rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Amen.